Hello, I am Mr. Ender Dragon, and I'm being joined by the one, the only, Juju Sparkle! Hey all my little sparklers, it is Juju Sparkle here, and I am doing a little review on the 1.9 little update in Minecraft. So, um, I thought for this, um, and so, um, I actually have Mr. Ender Dragon here joining me, because I am all alone. Um, the reason how his arms work is, um, it's a redstone single, and so that's what turns it, and so I thought I could show you that so you guys know how to do that. You can also wear the heads on your head, and you can be an ender dragon too. See, look at... Wow, I think the head got bigger. Is that just me? I think the head might have got bigger. It did. Um, so, yeah, um, I'm being joined by... Let me real quickly... Um, turn this to peaceful just to kill all these extra mobs and I'm actually gonna go to sleep and I'm gonna show you guys something real quick um, when you sleep you can actually now see your feet before it didn't so I noticed that was a new thing um, I need to get something out real quick um, the end crystal is what it's called you know those things that you always found um, well now you can actually punch them and they ex still explode in this world um, you have to post, place them on bedrock or obsidian works as well. Um, so have I turned it? Yeah, let's turn it back onto easy mode. And let's go into game mode zero and see what this uh, creature, it's called a shulker, will do to me. You find it in the end, actually. Hey, Mr. Shulker. I'm going to punch you. What are you going to do about it? Oh, look at I um, angered him. And he will actually hit me. And um, this, um, these will help me... They actually give me levitation, and then I fall. I actually fall, um, but it can be killed like any other mob, and I can be killed by it as well. Um, I can actually whack its little balls away, and that seems to kill it most of the time. And so it does kill you, and it does a decent amount of damage. Let's turn it back to game mode one, just so I'm not dying again. Um, so yeah, I'm just sh showing you guys that. Um, where's my little elytra? Oh, well. Oh, okay. Um, so there's also boats, and it looks like they, it kind of looks a little bit like the, sh uh, like the shovel, but I'm going to actually put this in here, and you don't actually require any spade shovel. Not a spade, maybe? Um, anyhow, so the thing you dig with in Minecraft, but, um, and you can actually... Right in these, and I think the animation, animation, animation looks pretty cool. And um, you actually steer it by using your arrow keys instead of just the way you're looking. Um, look at, see if I looked this direction, it'd send me that direction. And there's one of the boat birch, the 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 boat, um, uh, a birch boat I was playing with earlier. Um, and so let's hop on out of here and let's get back over here um so another of them is the elytra which i noticed it's kind of bugged out in creative mode and it doesn't work 100 percent of the time so i'm just going to fly up here and i'm going to do it in survival mode let's put this on that's wrong thing i'll show you guys the little thing um if you actually want to hold something in that slot just hit f and f automatically puts here or just feel free to put it up there and that works as well slash game mode zero um see and i'm actually gliding it helps you glide and the more you look up, the slower you descend. The more you look down, the faster you descend. And um, yeah, the animation on it's really cool. Let me show you. If I actually just hop off here. Nope, that's not a big enough hop. I need a big hop, people. Ah, root for me. Come on, I can get a big hop, right? You guys believe in me to get a big hop? I think I can get a big hop. I'm weird. Okay, let's do this. Okay, it's not working. Oh well, I'll show you guys later. Um, maybe towards the end of the video. And so another thing is actually the arrows that actually give you potion effects. Like, I'm going to shoot myself real quick. Shoot up in the air. Come on. And now I have jump boost. As you can see, it's actually now up in the corner. And, um... Oh, the shulker's trying to kill me now, aren't you? <laughs> Stay away from me. Mode, um, one. And... I'm gonna kill this thing. That's why don't we shoot it with um 
leap in. It see it doesn't work as you notice shooting the shulkers. With leap. Oh, that kind of works. It wasn't working there for a second. So it's not 100%. You can shoot it. It used to be a lot easier to shoot things, but as you can see that um, the potion. So you just take one of these um, little bottles and you surround it by the arrows. Um, and it actually creates that type of arrow. Let's put this stuff away now. Um, so, um, another thing you might notice is the dragon's breath. Um, you cannot drink the dragon's breath. You get it when you're um, fighting the ender dragon, and it's shooting its little breath at you, and you stand near it, and you can pick it up. Um, so, um, when you put blaze powder in here, um, that's actually what fuels it. You actually need fuel for these things now, but um, other than that, the brewing is still the same. So another thing I think is pretty cool is the chorter is fruit. And for this, I'm going to actually kill this little bugger right here so he doesn't accidentally kill me. Um, there's, um, And these things do kind of teleport around when you're using them. So let's go into game mode zero, and why don't we eat one of these things? And, oh, I'm over here. Um, there is, um, it kind of just teleports you around randomly. I don't control it all where it goes. And there's a cooldown on it, as you guys can see. Um, but as you can see, it just teleports me around randomly. And, yeah, um, that's another thing I t think is really cool. And, um, if I take the Chorkus, as you can see, I put in there and nothing happens. Put in there and nothing happens. Two, that no nothing happens. And so, um, yeah. Um, there's another thing called the popped chorcus fruit. You cannot eat these. I tried. Um, now I'm actually going to show you beetroot. Um, those of you who do pocket edition, um, I know the beetroot is in there, but I'm going to actually show you what they look like um, when they're growing. You can actually you plant them and you put those in there. And I'm actually going to gonna get my bone meal, and I'm going to plant some a bit more just for a bit of fun, and I'm going to grow these. As you can see, this is what it looks like when it's fully grown. Um, then you pick it, and these have been in Pocket Edition, and they are still in Pocket Edition, but just for those who want to do it in computer version. So if you put these in here, and you put, and that's the crafting recipe, and that's what makes you some beetroot soup. Yummy! That's the wrong thing. Um, so another thing you can do is shields. Now shields are really cool if I might say so myself. Um, I personally would put it, um, in the, um, in the, um, I'd click F and put it in that one. Because that way when you right click it actually automatically does that. And so you can like have a sword in one hand and fight. But you have to go back and forth. But this way you can kind of like do this. And just so you aren't having to switch back and forth in your inventory. Um, you can actually, if you take a banner that you have, and you put the banner, it can be any type of banner, it can have, like, designs on it, and you put it on there, and now I have a white shield. And I think it kind of, personally, I think it kind of looks like a mirror, like a weird type of mirror, but that's just my personal opinion. And why don't we actually, I'm going to dump stump all this stuff in here, and go into game mode 1. Um, as you can see, there's a bunch of heads right here. I'm going to actually just take on. If you guys don't know how I do that, it's, um, wrong one. It's actually just middle scroll click, like, uh, the middle of your scroll. And so let's just hop on down here. I, before the video, I went and found an end portal. Now, let's, um, there is still, um, an endermite spawner right here. And this is still the same thing. Um, and you kind of just hop on in. I have to wait for it to load up the world real quick. Um, I already went through and killed the Ender Dragon, as you guys can see. And there's an Ender Egg, so there's an Ender Egg just like usual. And wait, there it is. Okay, so um, before the video, I went through and I destroyed all the bedrock around it. So, just so I could easily get in. And you get in to it, and there's all these, these are called uh, the course plant and so when you place the plant like that um that's how it does but if i destroy at the bottom all of it comes tumbling down um this is actually what you get the chorcus fruit from um they're at the top of it and it's called a chorcus flower and you have to pick these to get it so um let's fly around for a bit just take a peek 
look at what it is. And um, these are actually the islands around it. Um, here everything is. Um, somewhere out here, there's a tower, um, a structure, and in it, that's where you, at the top of the tower, that's where you get the Lytra, and that's where you fight the Shulkers. And yeah, and you can. Uh, you, you get home the exact same way that you came in. Uh, well, not exactly. You just go into it, another portal that spawns in there naturally. And then to finally get all the way home, you have to hop into the end portal. And then hit escape to skip that part. I'm gonna let it... So yeah, uh, that's pretty much this whole demonstration. Um, it's been great having you on my little sparklers, and there's Mr. Dragon, and that's pretty much all there, there is to this 1.9 update. I think it's really cool. There's lots of new cool animations, um, lots of new things. Why don't you go out and play it for yourself? Um, so yeah, that's pretty much about it, and I will see